Out of that Supreme Court showdown, I mentioned off the top tonight, the Senate Judiciary Committee opening its confirmation hearing for President Trump's nominee, Judge Amy Coney Barrett. Judge Barrett escorted into the hearing room this morning. Her children brought in separately to watch. Democrats united in their message today, one after another, arguing that her nomination puts health care coverage for millions of Americans, including pre-existing conditions, on the line with that major case before the court just days after the election. And Judge Barrett telling the committee today the courts are not designed to solve every problem or right every wrong in our public life. ABC's Terry Moran has covered the court for years for us. The stage was set, a socially distanced hearing room, but Democrats in a surprise changed the script. For once remarkably united, one after another, the Democrats argued that this confirmation threatens all Americans' health care and the protections for pre-existing conditions. Stripping health care from millions of Americans during a pandemic, that's really what is at stake. On the other side, Republicans were brimming with confidence for good reason. They've got the votes. Committee Chairman Senator Lindsey Graham even acknowledging that no Supreme Court justice has ever been confirmed so close to Election Day. My Democratic colleagues will say this has never been done, and they're right in this regard. Nobody's, I think, has ever been confirmed in election year past July. Graham also cited the late Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who said presidents are elected for four years, not three, and so can nominate justices throughout their terms. But Senator Amy Klobuchar pointedly reminded Graham of Ginsburg's final wish that her seat would not be filled until a new president is installed. This isn't Donald Trump's country. It is yours. This shouldn't be Donald Trump's judge. It should be yours. Democratic vice presidential nominee Senator Kamala Harris appearing by remote link, also invoking Ginsburg with a dire warning about Judge Barrett. By replacing Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg with someone who will undo her legacy, President Trump is attempting to roll back Americans' rights for decades to come. But health care was the Democrats' main line of attack, and it got personal, sharing moving stories of constituents who depend on the Affordable Care Act, with the Supreme Court scheduled to take up that law just a week after the election. Democrats steered clear of any mention of Judge Barrett's Catholic faith in contrast to her 2017 confirmation hearings for the appeals court, but Republicans still accused them of using her faith against her. Your political opponents want to paint you as is a... TV or cartoon version of a religious radical. That is an attempt to bring back the days of the religious test. Barrett herself sat stoically for five hours wearing a mask, which she hadn't done in her Rose Garden nomination ceremony. And when she removed it to speak, she spoke of her mentor, the late Justice Antonin Scalia, whose judicial philosophy she shares. A judge must apply the law as it is written not as she wishes it were. Sometimes that approach meant reaching results that he did not like. And on the key issues that could come before her. Courts are not designed to solve every problem or right every wrong in our public life. Most of Barrett's children were seated behind her, the mother of seven from the South and Midwest, talking about her roots. If confirmed, she'd be the only justice not to have attended an Ivy League school. I would be the only sitting justice who didn't attend school at Harvard or Yale, but I am confident that Notre Dame could hold its own, and maybe I could even teach them a thing or two about football. Got a few laughs there today, Terry. Also, we took note that this all played out today amid this pandemic. Judge Amy Coney Barrett wore a mask for five hours until it was her turn to deliver her statement before the senators. There were headlines made when Senator Mike Lee, who tested positive after that Rose Garden ceremony, spoke at the hearing without a mask before putting one back on. His office said today that the attending physician in Congress said another test was not necessary for him. But some senators did not show up, including Senator Kamala Harris, at least not in person. Uh, they were joining by remote. She made a point of saying she had asked the chairman, Senator Lindsey Graham, for testing before the hearing. Here's how Senator Graham addressed that a little later. Could you explain what CDC compliant means? It means that the room is set up uh, social distancing regarding the virus that the architect of the Capitol measured the, the space. And as to me, I was tested a week ago Friday, had brief contact with Senator Lee. I was negative. So, Terry, you heard it today with us as we were all watching Senator Graham saying they were complying with CDC guidelines today.
CDC compliant, but Democrats, as you say, David, were looking for more, in part because there is a coronavirus outbreak associated with this nomination. The event at the Rose Garden now reaching into the Senate here in the upper echelons of the Republican Party. Repo the Democrats wanted everyone tested. Senator Graham refused. He said that millions of Americans are going to work every day in this pandemic. The committee should, too. David? Terry Moran will be at the court all week for us. Terry, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.